I don't know about you, Julian, but I can't wait to get my claws on this stage. Welcome back to Shovel Knight, my friends. If I could do the puns like you do, it would take me... I don't even know how many hours to come up with that. Julian here thinks I'm the pun master, but... He is. He could get a job right now with Popsicle with no college education. A Popsicle factory. Yes. Oh no, not all Popsicle has puns. Like, all the companies. No, I'm talking about Popsicle Popsicle. I did have an invincibility one. Oh my god. You're still on. What? On that? Yeah. Because that would've been so slick, though. I just didn't think about it all the time, so... Tis is your shame. I think there's a lot right here, too. Yeah, now we're introduced to, uh, Black Dirt, which takes two hits. Or one charge one. Oh yeah, and there's Loose Dirt, which you phase through really fast. It can, you know, be convenient sometimes, but a lot of other times it's really inconvenient. By the way, you can hit these enemies back. I just figured that out, like, the other day. You can hit them back. Hmm? Did you see, like, I pushed like them back? Like, knockback? Yeah, I can knock them back. Yeah, that's not that. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, okay. I thought you could, like, hit right there and it would have, um, knocked the thing down so you could go through it. <laughs> I thought you could hit right there and knock it one more time so you could, uh, come through, like, drop down. Wait, what? Like, is there any way you can get back up there? Up there? Yeah, is there any way you can- Yeah, you can. But if, if you get, like, a really well-placed jump, maybe you can. If you knock around- if you can knock out that top granite block, you get up there again, but if you hit that right there, that all comes out, and then you have the hole you could have dropped down right there. Oh, really? I did not notice that. That is... That, that is cool. I mean, we're like sharing secrets like the good old days. You know? Yeah. Not our favorite games. But that's only because, you know, it's, it hasn't been long enough for the internet to get a hold of it. Yeah. I bet you there's a secret in this game I haven't tested out. Where if you get a certain amount of number of gold at the end of the stage, like, in with a certain number, mm -hmm. odd number or something, there will be a bonus stage that shows up. I wouldn't be surprised. I think the black dirt holds... Shoot. It holds a lot of gold, but... Too bad I can't figure that out. Well, I know this is here. Oh, but that one's kind of obvious. Let's go. This guy only takes four hits despite his size. So two charge flashes take him He out. really looks like he would take a Yeah, he really looks like a boss that would take more damage, but in reality he doesn't. Did you say that was done on purpose, or...? What? Did you say that was kind of done on purpose, kind of like a joke, or...? Uh, I don't think so. Let's get risky. Give me the money! You said so. I like how you're uneasy, like... I come on, where, 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 where's the excitement? You're like, oh, let's take a chance. Yeah! And you're like, uh... Mm -hmm. Well, it has with the fact that how much I'm not that great in this game when it comes to uh, living through stages. Yeah. Well, I've had experience. Also... These guys, they will not leave the screen until you kill them. They are annoying. They are exactly like a certain enemy from uh, Zelda 2. You, you can say there's a lot of similarities with, you know, a lot of these enemies. Like, that guy's from, like, a Mega Man enemy. But, I didn't- He hops like one. He does the exact same hop pattern, I swear. No, it's not that. He goes side to side, and he blocks. Which is exactly like- I mean, his hopping looks just like something you'd see in Mega Man. Yeah, this part can be tricky. Just take my time here, because... Did I get that checkpoint? Yeah. Okay. Also, pro tip with checkpoints, you don't always have to destroy them immediately. Like, for example, I could be smart and go try to go to this place first, and then destroy it.
Oh. I saw you jump, I guess, oh. like, just then with your legs, like... <laughs> yeah, I thought the hitbox was not gonna... I was gonna hit his hitbox. Also, it's pretty good at stopping you from, you know, getting hit. Yeah. Which I like. A lot. So far, this armor's been pretty, pretty nice. Uh, uh, the thing I noticed with this was if you, um... Aren't careful with that backswing there? Can go and hit that one block right there and knock the entire thing down. Yeah, that's the thing. I found out the hard way. It's alright. And pro tip, get checkpoints before you get over here. That is if, you know. Chester. If you wanna be cautious, let's say. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Wanna see? Yes. The dust knuckles. I like this one a lot. Dash through the dirt and foes alike. No, actually, I haven't tried this on foes, so I'm gonna experiment with that in this playthrough. It requires very little magic, but if you keep pressing it, you can fly through dirt. And the dirt will have um, magic in it, so it really turns out that out to gaining magic. Well, not all the time. Not just in this instance, because it's tutorial and they want to give you a lot of magic, so you have. Why did it out in the actual game that I was constantly giving magic at it? Shoot. I hate those moles so much. I mean, every time I get hit, hit by one, they just dig deep down. Did it dig into your soul? Yes. Especially my face is really difficult with that microphone there, so I'm sorry I keep hitting it. Ah, uh, let's go fishing. Why not? I mean, we are in a magma cavern. I just noticed how it made you a slide right there. Hey, check the background. I didn't notice that the first time. Oh, it's green. Yeah. It's so good! So much detail. I don't find the sliding a problem, because... Very much so, you can always reset your momentum in this game by just jumping. Like... A lot of other platformers. Like Ninja Bridman? Uh, like Mega Man. Not going for that goal, because... That one's difficult. Uh, if you're fast enough, you can make that jump. But, unfortunately, that was not the case. Might be because of this armor. Maybe. It might affect my speed a little bit. Tricky, tricky puzzle work there. Yeah, it's really nice puzzle work. I like the music at this level, but it's always the fire hell levels I like the most. With you, yes. Don't know why, but you do. They're usually so good at them. I like how you describe my hell levels. I mean, this is a mine, Julian. Jeez. Yes, this makes me think of a mine, not hell. Thanks, makes me think of a mine. Okay. But what I was missing is a good mind car chase. If you want to be super safe, you can do that. Or you can just, you know, charge did. slash. If you want. As long as you're not too close to the uh, side there. Go ahead and defeat him. I don't think he drops any Ooh. I did not realize I couldn't get over there afterwards. Yeah, no, you, you can't use the invincibility thing for that, can you? Uh, no. Not for Lava. Didn't think so. So I missed out on that health power, but that's okay. There will be another at some point. More dirt! Uh, this power looks very situational when it comes to, like, pieces of dirt pass. Actually, I don't know. I have to rethink that. Th there could be some interesting uses, but I think it's a cool power up. It is. All the power ups are pretty cool in this game. There's no bad. Relic at all. I mean, I don't. There's something I don't want to use that much, like the uh. Wait, try using the glove to go through those. Like, the, see if you can punch through that. Yeah, I can top. punch through it. No, I mean, they'll punch through the top up there and see if you could have gotten through the uh. those things. They said you wanted to experiment with that in this playthrough. Oh, shoot. 
You know what I'm saying? What are you saying? Like punch through a lava blocks with the um, glove thing, mm -hmm. and see if you can't if it won't let you destroy the uh, enemy thing there too. Consider doing an experiment with the. Uh, glove I want to hit, hit. Yeah, just hit the enemies. You mean? Yeah. Well, I want to hit those. But I will experiment on something more stationary. Let's just say that because this is an auto scrolling sort of deal. Those yeah, you can probably you can dash punch through that. Thinking about it. I <laughs> love his little legs. Like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I know. I like it too. Find that first one. Yep. Good. Just curious. I knew how close it was to boss, and like, we gotta be through here somewhere. Like I said, most of the time there's always like an extra goodie. You're out of your depth, Spelunker. Are you lost? These rules belong to the ages, Ball Knight. They're mine now. Mine. But more importantly, it is your digging implement. Ha 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 ha! Ha! I'm astonished you made it ten feet down with that rusty trinket. I will bury you. So you hit him, he just faced. Yeah, see, I told you, in boss battles you can do that with some of their attacks. This is probably a spot where you can use that glove to, uh, like, face through the blocks and punch him. Uh, if you hit him before, Moran, um, he'll, come, he'll come back back at you. He'll come up, he won't hurt you. And you can knock back his... Oh shoot, I didn't even hit him. Then. Charge Slash, everyone. It's really good. It is. No! Ah! No helm, it was delicious! Mind your own business! Oh, gosh. What a night. What a terrible night to have a shovel. Actually, I think it's the best night to it have a shovel. It is always a good night to have a shovel. Imagine this shovel night versus shovel girl. Shovel Knight Girl is coming, everyone. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the, um... Did you ever see the thing on the internet with the, uh, girl who hit that girl with a shovel? Like, knocked her out? That was supposed to be, um, on level with Sharkisha now? You know what I'm talking about, do you? No, I don't. I'll show you after uh, this. Oh, girl got hit by a shovel. I'll show you this after this, uh, video. Ouch. For real. Are we gonna do the dust um thing in this level too? Hmm? The dust um challenge goldy thing down there? Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. While we're at it. Adventure. Sigh. There's no way to punch through. I wish I could just dash through all this dirt. Well, I'm glad we said head to hey to him. Why I was on this level, like if I played through why I had so much trouble with it. What do you mean? I just for some reason could not do this. This is just a really difficult level to me for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, I just got unfortunate. Yeah, so like instances like that you could dash through. That's pretty slick. But, uh, I was gonna be willing to take Oh I got it. Okay. I was willing to take extra damage just to get that. I only took two, so... Oh, these parts here I thought would be way more difficult than they are. Oh, that was terrible. I think it, I think your problem might have been timing sometimes. I'm just gonna say it was. Because 
it's not like the timing's hard, but you have to time it your punches. So, you have to time it when you're level with the ground. The floating dirt. It can be a little bit above or a little bit below, but not much. Hoping I can get my gold back, for real. I used to have trouble getting that back. Oh my gosh. It combos into them. That is cool. Like, it carried them with me. Did you saw that, right? Yeah. You can... Uh, yeah, you should be able to get them. Yeah. Most instances you can get your gold back, not all. It depends the circumstances. Depends on the awkwardness of your death. The awkwardness of your death? Yes. Depends how humiliating your death was. Yes. Ah. Ta da! Music. Alright, so how about we head to the store a little bit? Alright. That's fair. Some new stuff I want to get. We got a lot of money. Yeah. Are you gonna get the armor now? Um. Not yet. I want to wait for that. Next, how do we go for the final card? Why not? Nice. That's the one I use the most. I buy a lot, like I said. Uh, and let's get this. Hold on. Right now, I don't really care about the upgrades. Like, which one do I get first, because... It doesn't really matter to me too much. Right. Master Shoveler. You get that fee for having all the skills. Plus, you can come up here. Hmm. If I adjust the trajectory, I might be able to target the village. I simply adore ballistic phys physics. Me too. Woohoo! Ah. Ow. He's so happy. No, no, please, stop! Oh, okay. You know how to Google the deep pattern, right? What? Or an analog stick around or whatever you use for a robot. What are you talking about? When you land like that, you know what happens if you wiggle it around, right? What do you mean? I have to jump? No, no. Um, if you don't jump, if you just sit there and move, like, push left and right the D-pad. Mm -hmm. You know what you do when you're lying on the ground? What? You sit there and twitch. I'm gonna do that again. Alright, the Claws of Fate. Mole Knight, now there's a fellow who understands the concept of crunch time. Now that I have the music sheet, I can perform it anytime. Okay, cool. Bye. Sorry. Now go do that thing with the catapult now. Or you're gonna buy more magic. Oh yeah, I had a meal ticket. Oh, you do? Oh, you do, don't you? Oh, that was a sandwich. Sandwich? One heck of a sandwich. More I magic, like sandwich. Yeah, I think I'll run, running with good to go. Another cat bolt! Tally ho! Yeah, push left and right on the um, D-pad. Uh, it just made me think of like... Uh, uh. And how about before we go, do you wanna... Well, we have, we're at 18 right now. Or 19. Yeah, let's wait. Next time, we're going to face these punks. Yes. And go to that little stage down there. That little mystery one. Yes. So, we'll see you then, everyone. Uh...